I really messed up. Hey y'all and welcome back to another vlog. If it's your first time here, my name is Hunter. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. Before we get into this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me so I know that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe as well. This is my first flight attendant vlog back since March. Are you guys excited? I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm anxious, I'm a basket case of emotions about it, but I'm going back to work. Holy moly. I'm starting my first ever six day trip. Day one of this trip is a really long day. Orlando to Indianapolis, Indianapolis to Vegas. Sit in Vegas for two hours and then Denver and that's just day one we got five whole days after that I cannot believe I'm finally going back to work it feels like I've been off for an entire year it's only been four months but it definitely feels a lot longer one thing I want to address real quick is that I'm not going to be able to show you guys a lot on the plane or in my uniform right now just because of privacy reasons. I know in the past I was able to do that, so I hope you guys are okay with that. You guys will still get to know a lot about what's going on my trips and on my layovers. I'll still talk to you guys the entire time, but that's going to be the only thing that's different, and I hope you guys still enjoy the vlogs and you all stick around for them. Before we start the rest of this flight attendant vlog, I do want to let you know this video is kindly sponsored by 90 Go Luggage. The 90 Go Luggage provides honestly the perfect amount of space for like a week-long trip, maybe even a three to five day trip. It has 360 degree spinner wheels, which makes navigating the airport even easier. And I really like that this bag is made out of a hard shell material. Some bags aren't as good quality, so you can tell this bag will definitely last you a while. Some other great features of this bag is that it has a TSA approved lock, so you know no one's gonna go through your stuff if you check your bag. And it also has a dual-sided zip pouches, which allows more organization inside the suitcase. So if you are interested in checking out 90 Go, I will leave my discount code on the screen for you, as well as down in the description box if you want to check that out. But for now, let's get into this six-day trip. It's a rainy day in Orlando today. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. Now we're off to Denver. This is cute. Double bed, I'm down for it. Nice little view. This is nice, I'll take it. This room is so nice and double bed. I'm hopefully no murderers are hiding out in this closet, perfect. No way. We're gonna put it on like 70. Hey guys, we are finally in Denver after like the longest day ever. They saw I was coming back to work and they put me to work today. Literally all, we were in every time zone today. We did Orlando to Indianapolis, Indianapolis all the way to Vegas, Vegas, we sat in Vegas for two hours and then we went to Denver. I'm completely exhausted. I cannot wait to go to bed. The travel is picking back up again, whether that's a good or bad thing, I'm not sure, but definitely it has picked back up since like the start of the coronavirus pandemic. But it felt really good to get back on the plane today. It almost kind of felt like I was in a dream because I haven't done it so long and I was a little bit nervous just because I haven't flown so long and a lot of things have changed and I decided to fly lead today. Actually, I was kind of like forced into flying lead, but not really, it's hard to explain. But I'm flying lead on this four day and I was really nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't wanna mess anything up. I wanna make sure I'm doing everything right now just because of all the changes. But it's honestly like riding a bicycle. Like you just don't forget how to do it. It all comes back to you. I'm gonna head downstairs and have dinner with my crew right now. I'm flying with such a good crew, so I'm so excited to hang out with them tonight. It's about 8.30 right now. We do have a really short layover tonight, so I wanna try to get to bed early. No drinking tonight, just some food, and then hopefully straight to bed. It's a little bit windy in Denver today. You guys. I just met a subscriber in Denver and that really just made me so happy. It is about 10 p.m. right now. I'm talking really quietly because you can hear everything through these walls to like paper thin. So I don't want to wake up my crew members next door. We just got back from dinner, but I am going to head to bed now because I have to be up around 5, 5.15 at the latest. But I have some cool stuff coming up tomorrow night, so you definitely want to keep watching so you don't miss that. I'm going to head to bed now, brush my teeth, get ready for bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. So early. 
I just got out of the shower and I quickly wanted to tell you guys what's going on today. We are deadheading, so flying as a passenger from Denver to Austin. Then once we get to Austin, we work at Detroit turn, so we go Austin, Detroit, back to Austin. All of the flights are like somewhat long today. They're all around like that two and a half, three hour mark. So I mean, not that bad, but definitely a little bit longer. I have to be downstairs in the next 10 minutes, so I need to go put my uniform on, finish packing up the rest of my stuff, and head out. I was hoping to get a cup of coffee this morning because I'm really tired still from yesterday, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. But we're deadheading, so I might have a few extra minutes. Good morning, Denver. Today has been a day. Today was definitely like getting thrown into the circus again. You guys saw a little clip earlier. We deadheaded from Denver to Austin. We sat in Austin for about an hour and then we worked a Detroit turn. So we went to Detroit and came right back. All the flights were full, which is like, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Comment down below what you guys think if the flights are full. It was like, go, 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 go the whole entire flight. And we were all just tired. We didn't really get a lot of rest last night. Last night was a super short layover. But thankfully we have 18 hours here in Austin tonight. And I'm so excited because I'm going to dinner with Ryan and Travis in a little bit. You guys know them as The World Unlocked here on YouTube. All their stuff will be a link down below. I'm sure that I'll vlog all of that for you guys tonight as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm so tired though. Like I'm exhausted. I'm glad I can sleep in for a little bit tomorrow and then tomorrow night we go to Connecticut for 30 hours which is going to be great to relax. It's 4th of July though so it's kind of a bummer. I'm going to be in Connecticut all by myself for 30 hours. Right now I think I'm going to jump in the shower real quick and get ready to go to dinner. I'm too lazy to iron this shirt, so I'm just gonna hang it up in the shower with me and just like steam it, I guess. That should probably be good there, right? I don't know, the shower's right there. I just got out of the shower, Ryan just texted me, they are on their way. I'm gonna head downstairs, I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. Can't forget the mask. Look who came to pick me up in Austin, Texas. Do you guys know who this is? I'm sure you do. <laughs> Travis and Ryan, aka The World Unlocked. Hi, boys. Hey. Thanks for picking me up. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm excited gonna... to eat. I'm starving. We're gonna get yeah, some Tex Mex. Tex Mex. Some All Tex right, Mex. let's do it. Hi. Vlogception. Hi, boys. <laughs> The time has come where it's time to say goodbye for the night, and I'm really sad because we had so much fun today. Did we not? We, did. we, had, we had a, a great lot of fun. Time. We went to dinner, we went downtown. They gave me a, literally the whole tour of Austin, which was amazing. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much. You're welcome. And I'm gonna miss you guys. Yes, we're gonna do it again. Next. Yes, we are. We're gonna come back to Austin. Yes. So, give this video a thumbs up if we should come back. <laughs> yes, definitely. Give do it two it. thumbs up. I just got back from dinner and I went out with Travis and Ryan tonight. They are so so sweet and so nice. I honest to God had the best time with them and I can't wait to hang out with them again. We went out to dinner. We had some Tex-Mex. It was really good. I don't really think we got any clips of that which kind of sucks but I had taco salad. They both got a salad as well and then after dinner they were so kind and gave me literally an entire tour of Austin. It was literally the best time ever. I couldn't have asked for a better layover and they are so so sweet and gave me another one of their shirts. This one says jet lagged AF which is so true right now. I've literally been in every time zone. I'm so tired. They own their own company. It's called Coffee and Jet Fuel. You've seen me talk about it before. This video is not sponsored. They didn't ask me for this, but I will leave a link down in the description box to check out all of their merchandise. They have so much cute stuff on there. Even if you're not a flight attendant, they have really cute stuff. I also do have a discount code. I'll put it on the screen for you guys, so make sure to use that code at checkout if you decide to purchase anything. I'm gonna get ready for bed. We have not too bad of a day tomorrow but I'm getting a little tired, so I will see you guys in the morning. My wake up call. 
Good morning. Hi, Shirky. Hello. Hi. Hi. Where are you going? Find something to eat. I think the only thing is like Bob Evans. Bob Evans is good. Good morning, everybody. John just called and was my little wake-up call this morning, so big shout out to him. It's around 10.30 right now. I have to be downstairs at 11.30 for pickup. We're doing two legs today, one leg over to Fort Lauderdale. Sit for four hours, so a sit is just when you hang out at the airport in between flights. We're probably gonna get some food. I don't really know what's open. A lot of things have not been open in the airports, and I was kind of surprised. I thought like some stuff would sort of be open by now, but yesterday in Detroit, Nothing was open. After our sit in Fort Lauderdale, we do one leg up to Bradley. I feel like I always call it Bradley. I think that's the name of the airport. I think it's actually like Hartford, Connecticut. And we'll be in Hartford for 30 hours on 4th of July. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're not even allowed to leave the hotel because of their quarantine regulations right now. That'll be interesting. It is 10.45 right now. I'm gonna hop in the shower. Like I said, I have to be downstairs at 11.30 for pickup. So let's get this day started. Good morning, I just got up a little bit ago. It's around 9.45, 10 o'clock right now. I just decided to walk over to Dunkin' to get some breakfast real quick. This is my super unhealthy breakfast today. I got a coffee from Dunkin' and then an everything bagel. It looks so good. I haven't had a bagel in so long. We are here all day today. We don't leave until early tomorrow morning. I don't know what we're gonna do. Connecticut is a state that does have travelers quarantined for 14 days once you get here. That exception does not apply to crew members though, but I still don't really wanna be like out and about, you know? I think we're pretty much just gonna stay at the hotel today. It is 4th of July today. Um, we don't really have any plans, you know, because we're in a pandemic we were talking about going to get something to eat later today obviously we have to eat at some point there is a couple restaurants right nearby I literally screamed when I saw that Duncan was 450 feet away I was like oh my gosh I was so happy can y'all tell which side of the bed I slept on last night <laughs> take a guess I felt bad not giving you guys any updates of what's going on. I really have not done anything so far today. I know it's kind of boring, but I'm in the middle of Connecticut. We're in the middle of a pandemic. There's not really much to do around here, so I've been laying in bed watching YouTube all day. I actually just watched Athlete A on Netflix. It is a really good documentary. It's really sad, and it just... It was a little hard to watch. It's about four o'clock now. I'm gonna meet one of my other crew members downstairs in a little bit. We're gonna go over to Ruby Tuesday for dinner. Um, celebrate the 4th of July, I guess. But otherwise, it's been a lazy day. It's kind of nice, actually. I haven't had like a lazy day to myself in a while. So no complaints here, but I thought I would give you guys an update of like, I haven't picked up the camera all day besides breakfast. So there's your little midday update and I'll see you guys when we go to dinner. Celebrating 4th of July with Nessa. Yay. Cheers. <laughs> dinner is served. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's 4th of July, so we decided to get dessert. We both got cookie skillet. This is like my favorite dessert. Yes. I really messed up. It's 11 p.m. My alarm's going off at 3.30. Thankfully, it's just one leg to Lauderdale tomorrow, and that's all one and done, so I can definitely get through it. But if I had a really long day tomorrow, I would be screwed. Literally have not slept at all yet. Good morning, I'm gonna try to make this fast because I really have to get downstairs ASAP. I barely got any sleep last night, probably not even a full hour of sleep. Running on fumes this morning, thankfully it's just one leg from Hartford to Fort Lauderdale, probably around like a three hour flight or so. I noticed tomorrow that we are just dead heading home now. I don't know if something got canceled or what's going on, but we're just doing one leg home and it's a dead head. I noticed that there is a flight leaving about an hour after we land to Tampa from Fort Lauderdale, so I'm gonna try to book it over to Southwest and jump on that flight, and then John will pick me up from the airport and then he works tomorrow so he'll just drive me to get my car tomorrow when he goes to work so that's the plan right now hopefully everything goes smoothly there's no delays I can just get on that flight and go straight home because I'm tired we'll see what happens I have to be downstairs in 20 minutes for pickup I look terrible this morning I look like literally a zombie we gotta work with it we gotta work with it so I'm gonna throw my uniform on finish packing up the last of my stuff and head downstairs
I hope you guys can hear me okay through the mask. I know it can be a little hard sometimes. Just landed in Tampa. It feels so good to be home. John is on his way to pick me up right now. I'm gonna wait for him. Hopefully he's here soon because I'm starving. Hi, Snook. I didn't even realize that was you before. Did you miss me? Mm-hmm. Did you? So much. How was your first trip back? Amazing. Was it? Mm -hmm. What are you doing right now? Playing games. What game is this? Play Simulator X Plane. Wow, you're so cool. I know. Well, that is it, guys. I am back home now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, my first flight attendant vlog back since leave. If you enjoyed the vlog, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know that you liked it. Subscribe down below. Leave me a comment, good or bad. I respond to all of your comments. Share this video with a friend, and I will see you guys next time. California The sun is always shining right People 